It's no surprise to anyone that pretty much everything and anything is made in China nowadays. Whether you're at a shopping mall, supermarket, pharmacy, or electronics store, if you turn the product over, more often than none, you will see the infamous made in China. China is the world's largest manufacturer and makes up to nearly 29% of the total output for the manufacturing globally. Once upon a time, it was the United States who was a global leader in manufacturing, but China has since taken the first place position back in 2010. With the reputation as one of the best places for businesses to produce their products due to its low cost, and is also the driving factor of why so many global companies are outsourcing their manufacturing in China. However, with the success comes the ability to make easy money, which might result in dangerous chemicals being used on products in order to keep the production costs low and the profit margins high. In this video, we're going to cover the top made in China product recalls of all time. Number one, the melamine pet food recall. Even man's best friends are not safe from the dangerous products that come from China. In March of 2007, it was discovered by the Food and Drug Administration that dogs and cats were getting sick and dying from certain pet foods. These pet foods, surprise surprise, were found to be imported from China. Citing from the FDA website itself, the pet food manufacturer, Menu Foods, notified the FDA of 14 animal deaths in the United States that were reported from consumers and routine taste trials done by the company. Upon further investigations, the pet foods were found to be contaminated with melamine. Melamine is an industrial chemical that can be used as a flame retardant and to manufacture plates and utensils. It is by no means meant to be an ingredient in animal or human food and as you can imagine, it will be deadly if consumed. Gluten tested positive for a toxic agent called melamine, commonly used to make fertilizers and plastics. The recall is expanded to include nearly 100 brands of pet food. The animals that consumed the contaminated pet food were found to have developed kidney failure, and traces of melamine were found in the kidneys and the urine of the deceased pets. In the months following this, more reports of pet illnesses and deaths were made by consumers and veterinarians potentially stemming from the pet foods sold by menu foods and other pet food manufacturers. In all, in the aftermath, more than 150 brands of pet foods were voluntarily recalled by the number of different companies, but the damage that was already done to the poor pets could not be reversed. Number 2. The Melamine Baby Milk Formula Recall So first, the melamine was used for pets, and when you thought it could get any worse, the melamine was used for babies. Possibly the most infamous Chinese product recall of all time was the baby milk formula scandal of 2008. We already covered this scandal extensively in our first video, The 10 Fake Chinese Foods That Can Kill You, Part 1. The link is in the top right of the screen. But this scandal is so atrocious that we had to include it in this list of recalls. The scandal was first discovered in the Ganyu province of China where 16 babies were found to have kidney stones. The melamine caused acute kidney failure in many of the young victims, and in all, the milk scandal killed six babies and sickened over 300,000, with many of these babies being less than three years old. After further investigation, it was found up to 21 companies had potentially melamine-tainted baby milk formulas, and as much as 11 foreign countries stopped all Chinese dairy products into their countries. It is estimated that up to 700 tons of baby milk formula was recalled by various companies. In the aftermath, even after a decade later, in the article by the BBC News in 2018, Australian supermarkets have shortages of milk formulas due to the Chinese in Australia buying large quantities of milk formulas and sending it back home to relatives in China. The Chinese citizens still do not trust their babies to local milk formulas, and understandably so. Number three. Toys. Back in 2007, Mattel, the world's largest toy company, made international headlines when they had to make their biggest recall in the company's history. According to an article by the New York Times, it turns out that nearly half a million of their die-cast toy cars from the animated movie Cars was covered in lead paint. The toy cars were made in China 
and had to be recalled due to safety concerns and about half of those toys being recalled were distributed in the United States. That very same year, according to CBS News, Marvel Toys recalled about 175,000 Curious George plush dolls that were made in China when they were discovered to contain dangerous levels of lead in their surface paint. Lead, if ingested by children, can be toxic and lead contamination can be deadly even for adults and we covered this in our video, the top 10 big Chinese foods that can kill you, part 2, where we mentioned canned peaches from China were found to contain high levels of lead. If you haven't watched that video yet, make sure to check it out as it offers a lot of valuable information. Number 4. Baby Slings Back in 2010, over 1 million baby slings made by the brand Infantino were recalled after claims connecting them to the deaths of three infants. These slings were manufactured in China. According to an article by NBC News, it was stated by the Consumer Product Safety Commission, or CPSC for short, that the babies could possibly suffocate in the soft fabric of these slings and advise parents to not use for babies that were less than four months old, and babies with breathing problems or born prematurely as they were at risk. On the CPSC website itself, it warned that babies can suffocate in two ways. The first is by the fabric pressing against a baby's nose and mouth, which obviously blocks the breathing passage and can suffocate the baby. The second way is with the sling design, the baby is cradled in a C-like position, which for newborn babies who lack strong neck control due to weak neck muscles, can cause the baby to lean its head forward, pinning the chin into the chest, which might prevent the babies from being able to breathe and even cry for help. Up to three babies' deaths in the United States were linked to the Infantino baby slings, according to the CPSC. The result was over 1 million Infantino slings were recalled in the United States and up to 15,000 in Canada. Number 5. Tire Recalls It seems that 2007 was the all-star year of Made in China exports being recalled globally. In an article by ABC News in August of 2007, up to 450,000 tires that were manufactured in China were being recalled reportedly due to potential safety issues. The tire importer is called Foreign Tire Sales, based out of New Jersey, and they have purchased the tires from Hangzhou Zuzi Rubber of China's largest tire manufacturer based out of Hangzhou, China. Upon the order to recall by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, the tires from China were discovered to be missing a safety feature called a gum strip, which helps bind the belts of the tires to each other. The gum strip helps to prevent tread separation, which can cause a tire to blow, and then the driver to potentially lose control of their vehicle and crash. The recall tires in question were sold under the brand names of Westlake, Compass, Tularide, and YKS, and they are used on pickup trucks, vans, and sport utility vehicles and they already have been connected to two deaths due to tread separation. Recall the report of a product made in China. Problem, the treads on the tires can separate with potentially deadly results. Number six, toothpaste recall. It's hard enough to want to brush your teeth sometimes, but to have toothpaste that can harm you is a whole different ballgame. According to an article by Reuters in August of 2007, the year of the recalls as it's known, Gilchrist and Soames recalled their China-made toothpaste when it was discovered the toothpaste contained a chemical called dietylene glycol, also known as DEG, which is used to make automobile antifreeze. DEG is used by the manufacturers from China as a cheaper substitute to thicken the toothpaste. Tests have shown that DEG can be toxic for the liver and kidney if consumed, and also a central nervous system depressant. The toothpaste had already been distributed to hotels as toilet amenities in more than 10 different countries such as the USA, UK, Belgium, Canada, Italy, Mexico, and many more by the time of this recall. But check this out, this is not the only toothpaste made in China that was recalled. According to an article by the ABC News in 2008, the US Food and Drug Administration, also known as the FDA, had identified multiple brands of toothpaste that were made in China to be contaminated with DEG being sold in discount stores. To emphasize the seriousness in this matter, 
the FDA had placed a ban on all imported toothpaste that were made in China and went as far to advise any consumers to discard any toothpaste that might have been made in China. Knowing this, it's probably best to check the labels of your toothpaste before purchasing. Well there you have it. Hope you stuck around with us to the end of this video, unless you've been recalled as well. If you liked this video and found value in it, do us a favor and smash the subscribe and notification button for new video uploads. Give the video a thumbs up and if you have any experiences with any of these recalls, leave your opinion in the comment box below. Until then, stay informed, Genius Tomato out.